ni yangu matumaini kwamba uko vizuri kabisa unaendelea poa mimi mwenyewe niko safi sasa nimekuja kwa lengo la kuweza kukupa introduction ya kipengele kidogo muhimu sana kusoma nakupa introduction ya kipengele kimoja ambacho ni muhimu sana wewe kama mwanafunzi kama mdau wa elimu kuweza kukifahamu nimeuliza swali na mdau mmoja ananiuliza kuhusu ananiuliza kuhusu nini maana ya industrial capitalism au maana ya industrial competition na mda huo ananiuliza ficha zake industrial capitalism au industrial competition sasa nimeona siwezi kwanza kumjibu kichwa kichwa siwezi kwenda kukurupuka nadhani hata nielewa lakini lazima ni, nianzie mwanzo kabisa nitachimba kuanzia mwanzo nieleze hiyo industrial capitalism ina ilitokana na nini chanzo chake ni nini na baada hapo ndipo nitakuja kumjibu maana ya industrial capitalism na nitakuja kumjibu uh, features zake pamoja na wewe pia utaweza kuelewa kupitia yeye lakini kwa ufupi ni kwamba wakati Afrika ikizungumzia habari za communalism ikizungumzia habari za slavery Afrika wakati huo bado inazungumzia habari za feudalism at the mode of production during 18th century kwingine duniani miaka hiyo karne ya 18 tayari walishaanza kuzungumzia habari za capitalism mfano Europe nchi nyingi za Ulaya zilikuwa zimeshavuka hizo hatua za za feudalism, slavery, communalism zishaingia hatua yetu mbele iko kwenye modi ya nne ya capitalism kama modi yao ya production. When African societies were practicing communalism, slavery and feudalism as the mode of production during the 18th century elsewhere in the world, Europe in particular was a step further practicing capitalism as the mode of production in most of the year societies. Okay, sasa huko Ulaya mda huo tayari walikuwa shanza ku practice capitalism. Sasa tuangalie nini maana ya capitalism. Tuangalie what the meaning of, the, of capitalism. Okay? Capitalism refer to the political and economic system based on the private ownership of the major means of production tunazungumzia hivi capitalism ni mfumo wa kisiasa kijamii na kiuchumi ambao umebase katika umiliki wa mtu binafsi wa mali muhimu ah tunamaanisha kwamba umiliki binafsi wa major means of production vile vitu muhimu vya uzalishaji vinamilikiwa na mtu binafsi kumbuka kama unakumbuka kule nyuma tulizungumza kuhusu habari za communalism ambako all major, major means of production kila kitu chote cha uzalishaji mfano ardhi na vitu vingine kama hivyo vilikuwa vinamilikiwa na jamii lakini kwenye capitalism sasa tunakutana na kinyume chake ambako all major means of production especially land ambayo ndio ndio source ya all materials inamilikiwa na watu binafsi kwa hiyo capitalism refer to the political and social economic system based on the private ownership of the major means of production. Au tuweze tukasema kwamba capitalism was the economic system or relation of production in which the means of production are in the hands of few individual and operated for profit. Kwamba capitalism ni mfumo wa ki, kiuchumi na wa kimahusiano katika uzalishaji ambapo kila kitu cha uzalishaji kinakuwa kinamilikiwa kipo katika mikono ya watu wachache uh, the end of the few individual and they operated for profit in europe capitalism developed after the decline of feudalism kama ilivyokuwa huku japokuwa afrika haijajulikana ipo katika uh, modi gani lakini ili capitalism iwepo lazima feudalism iwepo ilikuwa ni stage communalism slavery feudalism na capitalism so in europe Capitalism i develop baada ya feudalism kufanyaje? Ko collapse. Baada ya feudalism kwa decline. Okay, kwa hiyo tumeangalia nini ma, nini maana ya capitalism ili twende kule kwenye swali ambalo nimeulizwa kuhusu meaning of industrial capitalism or competitive capitalism and its features. Okay, sasa tuangalie naenda kukutajia phases phases or steps phases 
au unaweza ukasema steps atua za capitalism phases of capitalism or steps of capitalism phases of capitalism or steps of capitalism capitalism uh, passed through different stages before reaching its maturity capitalism passed the different stages before reaching to the maturity ni kwamba capitalism ili ikoma ikomae ifike katika hatua yake ya kwamba sasa hivi capitalism imekomaa ilipita katika hatua mbalimbali ilipita katika steps mbalimbali hadi kufikia kukoma kwake naenda kukutajia phases phases of capitalism steps of capitalism naomba tuwe makini hapo ndipo takuja kuelewa sasa hiyo industry of capitalism industry of competition uh, au competitive capitalism inatoka wapi phase ya kwanza ni commercial or mercantile capitalism commercial or mercantile capitalism au unaweza ukasema kwamba uh, mercantilism commercial or mercantile capitalism unaweza kaita mercantilism hiyo ni phase ya kwanza kwa hiyo kwenye kwa hiyo kumbe kwenye capitalism lazima phase ya kwanza ambayo ilipitiwa au inabidi ipitiwe iwe commercial au mercantile capitalism au kwenye mabano unaweza kaita mercantilism hii hapa ina base kwenye masuala ya biashara naishia hapo kukueleza kwamba commercial au mercantile capitalism yenyewe ili base kwenye issues za nini za biashara okay hiyo ni phase ya kwanza tutakuja kukuiona baadaye sasa hivi nakutajia tu baadaye nakuja kukueleza ikoje na feature zake like ni zipi okay the, uh, the second phase is industrial capitalism or competitive capitalism industrial capitalism or competitive capitalism industrial capitalism or competitive capitalism kwa fupi ni kwamba hii hapa ili base na issues za viwanda na wewe inaitwa industrial capitalism ni uchumi wa kibepali ulio base katika viwanda ile ya kwanza commercial uh, capitalism yenyewe ni uchumi wa, kika, wa kibepali ulio base kwenye biashara phase ya tatu ni monopoly capitalism or imperialism monopoly capitalism or imperialism monopoly capitalism or imperialism this was the third phase in the development of capitalism whereby large companies dominated the production of commodities and the market it took place uh, asa kwenye monopoly capitalism ni kwamba tayari unakuwa ni privatization iliyokoma watu wanakuwa ni matajiri 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 wanamiliki viwanda vikubwa vinavyozalisha mfano magari vinavyozalisha kwa mfano ndege vinavyozalisha kwa mfano meli kwa hiyo tayari unakuwa ni ni capitalism ambayo imekoma this was the third phase ilikuwa ni phase ya tatu yeah, in the development of capitalism where by the large companies makampuni makubwa dominated the production of commodities and the market sasa nikirudi nikirudi na kuja kukueleza kukueleza nini maana ya commercial au mercantile capitalism na features zake na kuja kukueleza nini maana ya industrial capitalism au competitive capitalism na features zake na pia nakuja kukueleza nini maana ya, ya monopoly capitalism au imperialism na features zake niombe usiende mbali mambo mazuri yanakuja usisahau kusubscribe ku like na ku comment